It's January 8th and it's time to feed my bees. I plan on splitting my bees once if not two or three times this spring and so I need to get the beehives going. Because it is winter the queen is laying very few eggs. To trigger her egg laying to get ramped up we give her the equivalent of nectar. And we do that by mixing a 50-50 mix of pure cane sugar and water. This is just tap water. I ran my sink till the water was as hot as our water heater is set. Then I simply poured in one container of this into this container. That brought me up to this mark right here. Then I put in the same amount of water. Now I'm going to take my mixer and mix it all together in this bucket. I found for me this is the easiest way to mix it and get it done quickly. I'm not taking time to boil water and letting it cool and I don't use cold water which doesn't let the sugar dissolve very well. This is a quick way to do it. Easy to clean up. Bees get fed and I get on to my other chores. I mixed up two gallons of water because I am feeding two beehives. I had three beehives last year but I lost one which unfortunately in beekeeping is pretty normal to lose one third of your hives each year. The bees have plenty of stored honey in their hives I never let the bees go hungry. The queen won't get into full egg laying mode until she knows that there's plenty of food coming in for the hive. Since I don't know if they want to take this homemade nectar I'm going to go ahead and just put in one gallon in each hive and then monitor it and see if they're taking it. If I see that they're taking it then I'll go ahead and keep making it and help them get a head start this year. Since it is winter I suspect when I lift off this outer cover and the inner cover that the bees will all be balled up in a circle keeping each other warm. Let's take a look inside. I don't know how well you can see this but the bees are all over on this one side keeping each other warm and working really well as a team. Oh, we got a bee on the lens. It's a cold, cloudy, but not windy day, so this is not the best day to do this, but I need to get them fed. I don't know if you can see down in here, but I've got the mite treatment that I need to remove. One thing I make sure is I remove the mite treatment before I ever start feeding a hive. This is what's left of the mite treatment, so they did not eat it all, but they took what they needed. So I'll go ahead and get rid of this and start feeding them. I purchased this top feeder from Brushy Mountain, which is where I got my boxes from and I believe in staying with the same company to make sure everything fits properly. This particular top feeder has the bees come out of the top and they come over to where the homemade nectar is. Unfortunately it also lets them fly out. I just took some nylon window screen, stapled it to the side of the top feeder and now I can easily feed them without disturbing the bees and them disturbing me. You can see where I just poured the homemade nectar through the screen here and the floats just float right up and stay on top of the homemade nectar. This allows the bees to walk back and forth, get all the nectar that they need, and this really minimizes bees getting drowned. I'll come back tomorrow, pop the lid, see how things look, and if they're taking this, I'll mix up some more. But I'll just go ahead and put the inner and outer cover back on and let the bees go about their business. Another important step that I take, whenever I feed my bees, I make sure that I have my entrance reducers on so that the hives can protect themselves from other bees or wasps or other insects that want to come in and steal the feed. I found without having the entrance reducers on other hives will come in and decimate a hive killing all the bees or driving them out and then removing all the honey that they've stored and all the nectar that they have. This is LDS Prepper reminding you if you are prepared you shall not fear and if you have beehives and you want to expand your apiary think about feeding them early so the hives can start building up in numbers and strength. If you're not a beekeeper yet, please watch my other videos. Look at the resource links below the videos for more information and get into this great and enjoyable hobby.